We're going to be palpating a muscle known as adductor hallucis, adductor hallucis. This is in the third layer of the foot, and in its name, as it's kind of saying, it's going to be an adductor of the big toe as well as a secondary. It's going to be pulling it towards the plantar aspect, which means it's going to be doing some flexion. We're going to be looking for its origin, similar to the hand version of this in pollicis. Hallucis also has two bellies, one of which is running a little bit more like this on an oblique and the other transversely. So those are the names of its heads, the oblique head and the transverse head. So for this oblique head, what I'm gonna be doing is trying to identify the tendon of fibularis longus. So again, I'm gonna drop off the styloid process of the fifth onto cuboid. And so underneath cuboid is the tendon of fibularis longus crossing over the foot towards the medial cuneiform and the base of the first. So think like my finger is the distal tendon of fibularis longus. So a part of this origin is on this tendon of the oblique head as it runs like so. And then deep, just distal to that, we're actually looking for the base of, in this case, fourth, third, and second metatarsals. And what you're not really seeing is I'm also palpating on the dorsum of the foot. So I have interosseous space here, and when the interosseous space kind of goes away and I feel the bases, that's where I know where the base of two, three, and four. So I'm basically palpating in a similar location, but on the plantar aspect. So the oblique head's origin, tendon of fibularis longus, and the bases of the second through fourth metatarsals. That tendon, we're now gonna try and see if we can fire off that muscle. So he's gonna try and do a little bit of a squeeze. So again, I'm gonna show him, he's gonna try and squeeze my thumb and curl in a little bit, good. And I'm gonna add a little resistance out against him. Go ahead and just hold, just like that, perfect. So I can cross fiber our muscle as I'm working my way towards the proximal phalanx of his big toe, just like so, and now relax, good. And then again, gentle squeeze, perfect, and relax. So that is the oblique head, now the transverse head. This is gonna be kind of an interesting origin, but it's actually inter originating from ligaments in between the metatarsals. So the intermetatarsal ligament along these heads. So I'm basically lifting up and down in between each one of these metatarsals. You're gonna to wanna to go in between the spaces. So there's a couple different reference names for this, but for palpation's sake, you're trying to find the head of the metatarsal and then strum ligamentous tissue in between them, kind of holding them all together. So that's gonna be the origin, and it also inserts into the base of the proximal phalanx. So again, I'm gonna give him the same cue. I want him to try and push his big toe over like so as I resist against it and relax. Okay, and just a gentle resistance. Perfect, just like that. And I'm going to strum across the transverse head of this adductor halysis. Okay, so again, oblique head, transverse head, creating a adduction and flexion of the big toe at the metatarsal phalangeal joint.